Season 5. You showed such potential, such promise. A vast list of honorable episodes that focused on such adult and serious questions in life that made us sit and think to ourselves, this is teaching us the meaning of life and is helping us truly live into a bright and happy future. But then you go and fuck it all up! I didn't think it would get any worse than it ain't easy being breezies. And so far nothing has. But that doesn't mean this little blackhead pimple will go unnoticed. My Little Pony Season 5, Episode 6, Appaloosa's Most Wanted. Words cannot describe how bad this episode is, as far as the delivery, the moral, and just the feeling you get from it. Actually, there are, I'm just holding back for suspense. I'm a professional, you can't tell me how to do my job. Now again, this probably won't ruin this gold gem of a show, but it still puts another pigeon poop lid right on the side of it. Right on Applejack's face. And maybe a smidgen on Celeste. So, let's cut the shit and finally see the episode so you can finally find out why I'm complaining like a total nerd. So we begin the episode in Appaloosa, the same xenophobic town that who wanted to shun the buffalo away for their plantation of crops. Already loving this town. They seem to be getting ready for the National Rodeo, but for something else as well. I want that low down varmin to know we mean business! Oh boy, they're building this cat off to be like Billy the Colt or something. Get your nooses ready! Someone's gonna be dangling from the gallows by the end of this episode! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So after our southern heroine is busy playing Appaloosa's version of Jenga, we find out she's filling in for everyone's favorite gay stallion stereotype, Brayburn. Say, where's my sister and her friends? Uh-oh. Gee, I, I guess I got so caught up watching you that I- He's so good at apparently injuring himself, but not at watching the Phillies. But child neglect will have to wait, for trouble is falling over. We find out from Western stereotype number Mustachio who the culprit is. Or more or less, who he thinks. Hey, no doubt. It's Trouble Shoes. Okay, first of all, when the hay bales are piled up that high, I think the wind will do more of the work than some stallion. Second, really, you assume that it's, uh... Trouble shoes. Yeah, his mark? It looks like any other hoof print you guys can make. Hey, you were on the scene immediately and could have easily saw him. Maybe it was you who did I, I... Nah, just supersonic speed. Anyway, we come to find out that... Trouble shoes. Is causing the damages all over town, and it's happened before. He knocked barrels every which way at the Hoof City Rodeo. Nearly crushed my Aunt Bay mare. Fair enough. He sabotaged the steer pen at Pinto Creek Rodeo, setting off such a stampede they canceled the whole dad gum thing. He poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. But despite all these <clears throat> horrendous things going on. The rodeo commences anyway. Meanwhile, Applejack has the mind to send the CMC home, but Brayburn thinks more about AJ competing than the safety of his family. You hear? Y'all ain't leaving my sight. Oh, for Christ's sake. I bet you he's already forgotten about his own kids. I should know. I own them. So the CMC decide to go out and look for... Trouble shoes. ...in order to compete in the rodeo to get their cutie marks. So, when it boils down to it, they're finding a possible madman, a common criminal, to get their fucking asses tattooed. I love these three cuties, but this is asinine even for them. And what do you know, the three idiots get lost in the forest. Someone's wolf chow. Meanwhile, Applejack is helping other ponies get some... mud. Insert most cliched horse effect ever. And Brayburn delivers the bad news. Where are the girls? <laughs> Look, I know this was pretty much Brayburn's fault and he deserves to be burnt at the stake, but Applejack, you have some responsibility as well. So they enlist the sheriff off to help out to go look for the girls. Meanwhile, after the CMC take a nice little mudslide, they soon come across a nice little wagon. Oh no, they found Stromboli! Oh, 
Nope, never mind. It's just Mr. Darling. Actually, they found trouble shoes. And come to find out that he's not a criminal, but was just cursed with bad luck. I'm not making this shit up. Tell that to the flank. Upside down horseshoe. Bad luck. Follows me wherever I go like sour on old milk. Yep. Since birth, all the way up to adulthood, this poor soul has had to deal with the fact that he has to be followed by bad luck. Oh my god, this dampers the mood. So the CMC can concoct a plan to get Trump oh, fuck it, into the rodeo to live out his days as nothing but a clown. But that'll have to wait because the sheriff, AJ, and the rest of the gang are set to arrest him. The next day, the CMC try to explain the situation to Applejack, but we all know her head is thicker than a clay without mo moisture. So they come up with a plan to bust him out of jail. Oh, you want to see how they get trouble shoes out? Oh, they go through a tough time too. Here it is. <clears throat> they trick the sheriff to go out of the event into the city, grab the keys, and just unlock the door and set him free. <laughs> Stevie Wonder can keep an eye on things better than you can. So at the rodeo, we finally get to see them win their game of Stack the Bales, immediately followed by the clowns. I don't know about you, but I think this whole city is filled with fucking clowns. The CMC finally convinced Troubleshoes to get into the show and entertain. Oh, the porn art that can be made of this. Oh, Applejack, you attention whore, you. He escaped from jail! Rode in another rodeo! Let's get him! Okay, so these ponies not only laugh at trouble shoes, but still treat him like a goddamn criminal? What a bunch of horse shit! Eh, pun intended. This one's going back to jail! Says the sheriff who was supposed to be there watching him. Wait, so the lesson here is don't always look at the way you are in one way, but you might be good at something else. That's fine and all, but look at the shit he's had to put up with since he was a child. And all that's ever gotten him was ponies laughing at him and alienating him as a criminal. If life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But when life gives you dog turds, you smile and make a dog turd smoothie. Tough shit. Deal with it. Oh, and lovely ending. The CMC have to clean up the rodeo for leaving without permission. Ugh, ain't it bad enough that you get to go back to Ponyville with the shiny trophy, and all we're bringing back is these same old blank flanks? Y'all help Troubleshoes realize what his cutie mark really means. Ain't that a nice feeling you can take back with you? Yeah, doesn't it feel good that you help someone out with their shitty life by disobeying my orders? I get this shiny prize trophy, and you get a story to tell everyone at your shitty school who will still laugh at you for not having cutie marks and aching bones from child slave labor. But hey, at least you feel good. You know what will make me feel good? After I drop this huge load of anal waste from watching this episode. Hold on a second. Okay. Now I feel much better. But in all seriousness, this episode was not very good. The plot is kind of ill-spirited, the side characters are just neglectful idiots, and the moral is understandable, but not well followed up on. The fact this guy has to live a life of bad luck, and is told to look at it from another perspective, is just very wrong. It's like, hey Vanilla, we know you're just a tiny little speck in this giant world, but hey, you can be a wonderful spy now! No, I'd rather be big again, and I bet Trouble Shoes would like to be able to make himself a nice sandwich without it flying out into the fucking mud. But what do you know? Just, Just our luck. luck. This episode isn't that bad, but so far this season, it's a big disappointment. Well, that's all for me. Catch you next time, my giants.